G'day everyone, Connor McDonald here. Now, don't go rushing to your nearest religious deity. The glowing red eyes are not a sign of demonic possession. It's just the usual bout of jet lag. I've just got back from two trips, Rome for the Italian Oracle User Group and Israel for the Israeli Oracle User Group. I was in Tel Aviv. Both fantastic events. Uh, shout out to Ami, Oren and Francesco and Roberto for helping put those events together. They were really fantastic events, really enjoyed them. They were uh, lots of good enthusiastic attendees, lots of great questions. I'll do a video about Israel later, but this one's about Rome and the two talks I did in Rome. And that was one on hints and tips, just techniques I've acquired over the years. And the other one was new features uh, coming in 18C and 19C. And the new features one had a very robust attendance. Everyone seems to enjoy these talks. And I made a bit of a throwaway line right at the end of the talk. I said, this is probably the last new features talk. Now, that obviously got a fair bit of interest around the room. They were sort of looking at me like, why would this be the very last new features talk you would get from some of Oracle? It was a bit tongue in cheek, but I thought I'll explain why in this video. So to explain what I mean by the last version, I thought I would use my Samsung phone. Now, just to stress, not a sponsored video, there's not an advertisement, I just happen to own a Samsung, I quite enjoy it. But mobile phone technology is a bit like database versions. Let me try to explain that better. Before I had this S9 Plus, I had an S5 for several years and it did pretty much the same thing as the new phone did. It made phone calls, it had a fingerprint sensor, it had a camera, uh, it was waterproof, so it pretty much had the exact same functionality. Why upgrade? Why change it? And I'm not one of those people that just loves to upgrade just for the sake of upgrading. I just felt my phone needed a bit of a spruce up. And it wasn't really new features that set aside the, this S9 from the S5. It was more the refinement of all the existing features. It ran just a bit faster. The camera was significantly better. The waterproofing is a bit better. The fingerprint sensor got moved to somewhere where it felt more natural for me. Now, don't get me wrong. When there was this big jump in phone versions, there was a new significant feature as well, which I take advantage of called wireless charging. But overall, really there's very few new features. What they are is really just the refinement of existing features, and that's what the differentiator is. The Oracle database is very similar. I think we focus too much on just new features, whereas in reality, the thing that's really gonna give you the bang for your buck is the refinement and continuous enhancement of existing features. I did a blog post just the other day how we've added distinct clauses to list ag function. I'll put a link in the description below, but that's not a brand new feature. It's simply an enhancement to an existing feature. And that's what I see coming in the Oracle database now that we have this new release model with 18C, 19C, etc. Let's not get bogged down in new features. Let's spend the time really exploring existing features and how they're refined and improved. That I think is a much better way of talking about database technology and database features. I see similar parallels when I'm doing my SQL features talk. I see the audience busily scribbling down notes or taking pictures with their phone when I put things up like the roll-up extension to group by, and the question goes up saying, and, and when did this become available? And I say, well, uh, 20 years ago in Oracle 8, was when roll-up came along, or partitioned out a join that came along in Oracle 9 a decade ago, and yet these are features that people are often unaware of or they think of as brand new. In reality, they are just refinements of existing technology. I'll continue the metaphor with phones in terms of upgrading because one of the things that came out of the Rome event was with 18C, 19C, etc. are we worried about excessive or heavily pressuring people into upgrade? Well, I think you have that flexibility just like you do have with a phone. I went from an S5 uh, all the way up to an S9. I didn't upgrade for a long, long time. I simply upgraded when a particular release or version uh, took my fancy. It seemed to be really appropriate for me. I have a friend who is the exact opposite. He's also a Samsung user, once again, not sponsored but he went S6, S7, S8, S9, and very shortly he'll buy the S10 when it comes out. The reason for that is not, he's not some sort of fanboy of Samsung, he's actually a surgeon. And for him, although as much as you don't wanna hear it, surgeons take pictures of you when you're cut open on the operating table because that's how they use that information for data, for research and training, etc. So he's always looking for the absolute latest tech in terms of a camera that comes in his workhorse, which is his phone. So 
I know he'll upgrade to the S10 as soon as it comes out because he just wants that better camera, that refinement of existing technology. So the database is the same. You can upgrade very aggressively if you need those refinements to features, or you can hold off on some of the more stability-based releases such as 19C and stick on them until you feel compelled to do a larger upgrade in future to pick up some brand new tech, for example. But my overriding message on this video is let's try avoid getting stuck into this loop of constantly hunting for brand new features to explore. I don't think that actually serves you as a developer or DBA, and I think it's something that Oracle itself is trying to get away from. We're focusing on robustness and stability of product and continuous refinement, you could even call us agile, to existing features to make them more complete, more robust, and more beneficial for you out there. In particular, if you know the ins and outs of all the existing features, that makes you much more able to make good decisions as to A, whether you should use them, how they can best work in your organization, but also how they compare to other offerings, say, from other database technologies. There's a big difference between six or seven vendors that say, oh yes, we all offer read consistency in the same way that Oracle does, versus the way they actually implement it and what the implications of those implementations are. Similarly for things like partitioning. If you know the absolute ins and outs, then you'll be able to make better decisions as to whether just two database vendors having the same bullet point saying, yes, we support partitioning, is actually the same in terms of the value you get by using the option. So that's it for Rome, and that's it for my talking about new features, the focus being on less new features, more on features that we already have. Hope that makes sense to you, but that's my going to be my modus operandi from this point onwards, trying to accentuate our knowledge of existing features. Time for me to grab another cup of that amazing Italian coffee. See you soon. <music>